Okay, we got some new information from the latest bar citizen. We're talking about 4.0, resource management, and more. Let's get into this video. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June in a couple of days. I'd also like to give a big thank you to D Shepherd for being the newest channel member. Thank you for your continued support. A big thank you to all the channel members for continuing to support me. Let's move on. All right, so from the latest bar citizen, there were a few key points that was brought forth. Um, some new information pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, as well as uh, the server mesh and testing and resource management. Okay, so the very first key point that was brought forth from, it says from John Crew, it says uh, resource management is for multi-crew ships mostly. For example, relays in 4.0, probably the 10 to 15 most popular ships will have it set up. The resource management system is replacing the pipe system. So changing all the ships will take a lot of time. Every ship will support the resource management system, but not every ship will have gameplay associated with it. For example, the Gladius only has one engineering node, thus there isn't much resource management gameplay there. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, I didn't expect the fighters to really have much interaction with resource management anyways. Um, I, it was one of the key points that I was curious about um, in terms of how they're going to handle it in, in regards to resource management. So um, the fact that you really don't uh, really like when your fighter is damaged, you just need to replace it because it's not really a big ship where you need to run around and, you know, change things, swap things in and out. So really the only time you're really engineering uh, your, your fighters is at um, a... Uh, a station or a place where you can repair and rearm, right? So that kind of makes sense. So let's uh, continue. So the next one says regarding gold standard, there is not one definition for it, but rather each ship has a different vision for what is gold standard. Uh, in a way, it actually means release ready. There won't be any sort of platinum standard above gold standard, but if a ship is gold standard now and a new system comes into the game, it won't be gold standard anymore, which makes sense. It's just, I guess it's just a way of them, um, a way for them to term it uh, game ready, I guess. Um, uh, moving on. So it says ship glass is extra tough. Uh, example, transparent metal. So there is not really a need for retractable canopy like the Fury LX. The Carex retractable canopy will be uh, will add additional protection, but it's not going to be much of a difference. So yeah, so the idea between the retractable canopy is for protection, but it seems like they're not really going to make much of a difference. Um, I'm not sure in terms of what ship they asked this question in, in which brought forth this answer or response, but um, it is it is a cool idea though um, to be able to retract and uh, retract your canopy for the extra protection. I think that's a cool idea. Even in regards to, um, well, I guess the Terrapin, it doesn't have a, a retractable canopy. It just has armor plates that can retract um, to emit, uh, to release the heat within the, the ship. So that's a little different. So let's move on. So it says uh, some ships, especially large ones like the Idris and Javelin will have multiple points inside where you will be able to load food, ammo, supplies. It will be like feeding a spot for a ship. You put in the required resources and the ship distributes it on its own. Yeah, this is one of the things that I was kind of curious about. I was thinking maybe um, there will be people that will need to go to uh, the cargo area to retrieve the new cargo, whether it's food and whatnot. But I guess having a spot where these resources, uh, you can put the, the resources and the resources just naturally gets distributed between the ship will just make it a lot easier. Hopefully, um, I don't mind the idea where like you will literally need to move the food from cargo into the kitchen area um, and, and store it there and, and whatnot and, and things like that, right? But the ammo um that makes sense I, I i don't want to be managing ammo where i put the ammo and things like that so that that's that's actually fine 
All right, moving on, it says there is no concrete plans for ships being able to scan for people. It's more about the ability for the radar to be able to scan people. So if there's a specific radar capable of doing it, then it should be able to. So I, I think um, the question that they were probably asking is, will ships be able to scan people? And if uh, they, already, they already have a scanner that is going to allow you to scan people from the FPS standpoint. So your, your visor will be able to, uh, your helmet visor will be able to do the scanning for you, but I don't think it would be a good idea to actually have ships capable of scanning for people. Um, reason being that it's, it becomes OP, right? If you're on the ground and you're trying to sneak around or you're trying to infiltrate a base that belongs to the players, you know, you go on, there's a reason to go on for it, right? So because you're going to be undetectable, you know, and, and things like that, that kind of ruins it if the ship can just, just detect everything, right? So, um, I don't know, you guys let me, let me know your thoughts on that, um, but, uh, let's continue. The next one says, when asked about a possible Crusader Starship, JC says there is always a possibility and that it's always been a goal to have a Starship for every, each manufacturer. He remained evasive and hinted that one ship is to be revealed as Citizen Khan could indeed be a Crusader Starship, but did not directly confirm it. That's interesting. I mean, it'll be cool. It'll be cool uh, to see a Crusader starter ship. It should, hmm, Crusader starter ship. I'm thinking it, I don't think it will even be combat related. I think it will just be general purpose, similar to the uh, Drake uh, Cutter series. I think they should do that. Will it be asymmetric? I don't know, um, but it might be asymmetric, but it'll be cool. It'll be cool to have that as an option. I would. I would swap my current uh, Nomad for it. If they do come up with a Crusader starter ship, that would be pretty cool. And I support the idea where they have variants that has that add to its capability. So uh, that would be a cool idea. Up next, it says there are hopes for ships to be buoyant in the future. They don't want ships exploding. It says ships already react better with the new water tech, but there is still a lot of work to do. No plans in the near future for ships designed to float on water, nor for boats in the PU. I would love to see a boat, um, but it looks like they don't have plans for it. The one that we've seen in Squadron 42 was actually pretty cool. I would I would have loved to have something like that uh, to use, but um, they they could always add it in the future anyway. So um, that's that's a good thing about Star Citizen. They're going to continue to develop the game as long as players are willing to uh, play it. So it also says here, no date for the Misk Raptor. It's in Squadron 42 as a back background asset what's the misc raptor i think i heard about this ship but uh we never seen it I, I think it's 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 it was just an idea um i think that was leaked and uh we never actually seen it so i'm curious so is this confirmation it says no date for a miss raptor maybe it's a confirmation that there is a misc raptor but we'll have to see all right so next it says aaron roberts suggests that the meshing test going on is positive sign for pyro this year it says uh zylo zylo says that the change from 3.23 to 3.24 does not change the release goal for 4.0 that is awesome i'm glad man that's that's the great thing that's what i really like about their change in terms of adding the various environments um so that they can run different tests in parallel and um i think that has really helped them in terms of speed things up honestly the fact that um 3.23 i mean 3.24 is about to go into ptu and then they're also running server mention text in in tech preview that's that's awesome to be able to run them in parallel like that is is pretty cool there should be a number of pyro play tests before citizen con according to aaron robert so that's going to be one of the exciting ones so if there's going to be a pyro play test, that means it's probably going to follow um, the tech preview that we're doing right now, right? So right now we're testing Stanton right now with, I, I believe, three servers and uh, that's managing each shard. And um, right now they're just trying to see how it behaves. So I believe the next series of tests 
for this one um probably they're gonna try to ramp it up to see if they can have more players i think right now i think what i heard was it 200 players on it or maybe 600 or something like that i could be wrong um but um i think the very next one will be uh the jump gates so um jumping from stanton over to pyro will be the next jump gates and that will probably be what they consider the pyro play test i don't think they're gonna, just gonna put us in pyro um specifically and then not allow us to go to stanton i think that's gonna include the pyro where pyro is gonna be managed by a certain amount of servers and stanton is gonna be managed by a certain number of servers so that would be pretty cool all right so the next one says teams are not currently working on the bmm unfortunately when the defender was finished they were hoping they would then add some parts or material to the bmm but because of the way the bmm is structured this is impossible it works it works with other ships like the hammerhead or idris but not the bmm yeah so the bmm is gonna take a long time oh my god just like they're gonna be building this thing from scratch so they're not gonna have assets to really use from the defender it looks like so it's gonna take a while man but whenever it releases it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome the way that ship looks all right so next one it says jc is really happy with the interior of the polaris um engineering room is being done now very different from concept they've shown before his favorite location inside the ship is the torpedo room he says the torpedoes will be loaded via a track similar to those found in distribution centers they will be expensive especially since they are size 10 man i'm gonna be running my polaris on a budget <laughs> we only got one. <laughs> oh man that's that's pretty cool the fact that they're the um i'm just excited that the polaris is gonna be dropping very soon man i'm, I'm curious to see how everything is gonna look on the inside we've seen the exterior but i think the exterior that we saw is in the final state of it so i'm curious to see the final state once it releases in 4.0 this year really exciting stuff all right, you guys, let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we just spoke about. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and catch you guys on the next one.